In this presentation, we will understand how to update a tuple. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The first topic of this presentation is adding items to a tuple. The second topic is updating items of a tuple. And the third topic is removing items of a tuple. So, let's get started with the first topic that is adding items to a tuple. So, how to add items to a tuple? It is not possible to directly add items to a tuple as tuples are immutable. We know that tuples are immutable. This means that we cannot add, remove or change items of a tuple. So, it is not possible to directly add items to a tuple. Is there any workaround for this? Is it somehow possible to add items to a tuple? Yes, fortunately, there is a workaround. We can first convert a tuple into a list. Then we can add items to a list. And then we will convert that list back to tuple. So, this is the workaround we can follow. In order to see this in action, let's open our command prompt and let's activate the Python interactive shell. Now, let's type this command cars equal to Audi Mercedes BMW. So, we have this tuple cars with three items Audi, Mercedes and BMW. Let's say that we want to add a new item Toyota in this list. For this purpose, first we will convert this tuple into a list and we can do that with the help of the list method. So, let's do this now. Let's type temp equal to list cars. With this method, we can convert this tuple into a list. So, list method allows us to convert a tuple into a list and here temp variable will point to that list. So, now let's hit enter. At this point, we can be sure that our list is created. Now, let's say that we want to add a new item in this list temp and that is Toyota. For this, we will use the append method. We know that there is a method called append which allows us to add items to a list. So, we can use the append method for this purpose. So, let's type this command temp.append Toyota. We just need to pass the item which we want to add in our list to this append method and the rest of the job will be done behind the scenes. Now, let's hit enter and check our list. For this, we will type temp and let's hit enter again. We are getting this list with four items Audi, Mercedes, BMW and Toyota. We now have this item in our list. Now, what's the next step? We will convert this list back to tuple. For this, we will use the tuple method. So, let's type this command cars equal to tuple temp. With this, we can successfully convert this list to tuple. So, let's hit enter and type cars. Let's hit enter again. We are getting this tuple with four items Audi, Mercedes, BMW and Toyota. So, we have successfully added this item in our tuple. Now, I know that this is a trick. But we can use this trick to add items to a tuple. I hope this concept is clear. Now, let's move on to the next topic. That is updating items of a tuple. We know that it is not possible to directly update items of a tuple as tuples are immutable. But there is a workaround. We can first convert a tuple into a list. Then we can update an item of a list which we want and then we will convert back that list to a tuple. So, we'll do the same thing here. Let's open our command prompt and let's consider the same cars example. Let's hit enter and now we'll do the same thing. We'll convert this tuple into a list. For this, we will type temp equal to list cars. Let's hit enter. And now, let's say that we want to update this item to Toyota. This means we want to replace this item by Toyota. We will first do that in our list temp. We can access this item in this temp list using its index. We know that the index of this item is 1. So, we can access this item in our list using its index. So, for this purpose, we will type temp1. And then with the help of the assignment operator, we will update this item in our list temp with Toyota. So, let's type 
temp1 equal to Toyota. This command allows us to replace Mercedes with Toyota in our temp list. Now, let's hit enter and type temp and let's hit enter again to check whether the list is updated. We are getting this list with three items, Audi, Toyota and BMW. This means we have successfully updated our list. Now the next task is to convert this list back to tuple. For this we will use the tuple method. Let's type cars equal to tuple temp. Let's hit enter and type cars. Let's hit enter again. We are getting this tuple with three items Audi, Toyota and BMW. It can be observed that Mercedes is replaced by Toyota. So with this we are done with this topic also. Let's move on to the next topic that is removing items of a tuple. We know it is not directly possible to remove items of a tuple as tuples are immutable but we can convert a tuple into a list and then we can remove an item of the list which we want to and then we will convert that list back to tuple. Let's consider the same cars example and now let's first convert this tuple to a list. For this we will type temp equal to list cars. Now let's hit enter and let's say that we are interested in removing this item BMW. For this we will use the remove method. With the help of remove method we can remove any item of our list. So let's type this command temp dot remove BMW. With this command we can remove BMW from our list temp. Let's hit enter and type temp to check our list. Let's hit enter again. We are getting this list with two items Audi and Mercedes. Now we need to convert this list to a tuple. For this we will type cars equal to tuple temp. Now let's hit enter and type cars. Let's hit enter again. We are getting this tuple with two items Audi and Mercedes. So we have successfully removed BMW from this tuple. Now. What if we want to delete the entire tuple? In order to do this, we can use the famous del keyword. So if we want to remove the entire tuple, we can use the del keyword directly on the tuple. We don't have to convert that tuple first into a list. Just like list, we can use del keyword for the tuple also. So let's see how to do this. Let's open our command prompt once again. Let's type cars equal to Audi, Mercedes, BMW. Let's hit enter and now let's say that we want to delete this entire tuple. For this, we will type del cars. Now let's hit enter. As we are getting this prompt, this means that this tuple is deleted. Let's type cars to verify this. Let's hit enter. We are getting name error. Name cars is not defined, which means that this tuple is deleted. So with this I hope it is clear how to remove individual items of a tuple and how to remove the entire tuple. And this means that we are done with all the topics of this presentation. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.